<laughs> Good beautiful morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing a fantastic day today. Beautiful Tuesday morning. Nice and cool outside today. So, once again, I just want to, uh, I just want to encourage you and uh, on my behalf, on my testimonies of what God does in my life, uh, I like to share those experiences because I want you to uh, know what to look for. Uh, I want you to know uh, what what to see. But uh, man, God is amazing. God is good, and sometimes I, you know, I remind myself that even though I struggle and I fail, uh, I tell myself that I'm not I'm not worthy of His grace. I'm not worthy of His love, and most importantly, I'm not I'm not worthy of uh, of Him continuously blessing me but I will say that just like any other father he loves you and uh and so today I want to I want to testify on something that, that happened this weekend and uh even though um uh, so I'll start off with this so how many of you and I don't know if you're familiar with this or not but uh so this past weekend if you go back to my timeline and if you look at my timeline on my Facebook uh, I posted a photo with w me and one of my friends. Uh, his name is Lewis. And uh, there's, no, there's another story behind that, so y'all stay tuned in the future for that one. Uh, right now, I can't really say much on it. But I will say this. When God sends us signs, um, it's important for us to embrace them. It's important for us to take those signs, you know, and, and run with it. You know, run as fast as you can. When God sends you a sign, you pray for something, and God sends you a sign. You pick up that you pick up that sign, and you take it, and you run as fast as you can with it. So this weekend, um, you know, we were taking a selfie. Now, if you go back and look at our at, our, at my timeline on Facebook, there's a picture of me and Lewis on our selfie. And uh, today, someone told me that there was, uh, I guess, there's some kind of filter. Okay, but check this out. At the time that I took the picture, there was a, there was a, a a swipe right moment for me, and when I swiped right, it was so amazing that it it, it blew me and Lewis's mind. In that moment, we were so excited. I was like, "Man, that's a pretty cool filter, right?" And so, and so I began to sit there and just kind of wonder, and I'm just sitting here thinking about how God works and how He sends His signs, right? And so the night goes on, and and. Uh, I told Lewis, I said, hey, man, you want to hang out with us tonight? And we're going to go over to uh, my parents' house. And we headed out that way. And, and we began to, uh, you know, visit with them. And in the midst of visiting with them, I was uh, I was trying to find a, a quote. And normally, normally I, I try to come up with a lot of them on my own. But this one in particular, I felt like the Holy Spirit was guiding me into Google and to research uh a quote that had something to do with stars, right? So I go to Google, I look up quotes for stars. Now, there's one in particular quote that stood out to me, and it was talking about, uh, so I'm going to paraphrase, so don't quote me on this, but it says, it says, um, something along the lines of stars shine in the darkness, right? And how many of you know that when you look up at the night sky, you see a star, right? So, it was I was trying to I was trying to put that together with the filter, right? And so then I'm sitting here and I asked my brother, and my brother happened to be there with me, and I asked my brother and I screenshotted the quote and I'll place that later on in my comments so you can see the time frame on there so I can show you how God speaks to you, okay? So I screenshotted the picture and I screenshotted another picture which they happen to be similar quotes. Now when I screenshotted those First, I showed my brother and I said, hey, man, do you think do you think this one sounds better or this one sounds better? And he said, go with this one. I said, OK. So, you know, me being being me, I need a second opinion. So I go to I go to Lewis and I said, do you think this quote or this quote? Now, Lewis didn't know which one my brother picked. Right. So Lewis picked the exact same quote that my brother picked. Right. OK. You say, well, that's just a coincidence. You know, maybe it was a better quote. And it might be. But here's but here's another thing. When I got home that night, I laid down in my bed and I began to talk to God. And I began to think about everything that he's been doing in my life. And I think about how he's placed this big old puzzle piece 
all together and it's pretty cool. And so I'm sitting here laying in bed and I remember someone tagged me in a video on Facebook and I and I accepted it and I said, you know what? I'm going to go watch this video. Normally, sometimes I watch them, sometimes I don't. I'm just being honest, okay? And so today I felt the Holy Spirit push me towards that video. And in that video, I sat there and I began to watch the video and I began to watch what the guy was talking about. And he goes on to say, That, you know, in the beginning of the video, he begins to say that time, you don't want to waste time. You know, you got three minutes to explain, you know, if you're going through a relationship struggle, if you're going through a a, a marriage and a divorce is happening. And he goes on to say that you got three minutes of your time to tell me what's going on. After those three minutes, you don't want to waste your time trying to, you know, figure something out or whatever, explaining and this happened and that happened. You want to get straight to the point. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So in that moment, I'm sitting here watching this video. And then somewhere in between the video, he says that he says stars only shine in the dark. Now, what a coincidence that that video right there and the quote that I had that I had screenshotted three hours before are almost the same identical thing. Right now, this video was posted seven hours before I even watched it seven hours before. So God was already trying to speak to me in the beginning, but I was being hard-headed and I didn't want to listen. And how many times do we find ourselves being hard-headed when God's trying to speak to us? God sends us multiple signs. He's trying to reach out to you. He's trying to show you. He's trying to direct you. He's trying to guide you. But we're so stubborn in our ways that we say, well, I'm just too busy. You know what? I don't want to watch that video. I'm too busy for that. But in the moment that I said, you know what? I'm going to listen to my spirit. I'm going to watch that video. And then everything just began to align up and match up to what God is trying to show me. And today, before I even posted this video, I was reminded. I was reminded that when Jesus was born, there was a star, a star above in the sky that the three wise men had to follow. Correct. And I'm sitting here just in amazement and I'm just in shock and sometimes I begin to wonder I wonder to myself man I'm pursuing something that doesn't exist in a physical form I'm pursuing someone who speaks to me who I can't literally hear an audible voice I'm searching for someone to send me signs and in the midst of all this (laughs) God is right there speaking to you every single day. He's, He's placing people in your lives that will speak to you. He's placing people in your lives that will encourage you. And just like those stars in the background and just like the stars in the sky, I'm reminded every single day that no matter where we're at in life, no matter what we're doing in life, we ourselves as a human race all over the world, not just in America, not just in this nation, but as the whole world, we are all created equal. We're all made in God's image. And so today I'm reminded that be a light, be a light to someone who's lost, be a light to someone who's failing, be a light to someone who's discouraged, be a light to someone who's financially struggling, be a light to someone who's going through a divorce, be a light for someone that needs you in that moment. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our lives. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our busy schedules. Sometimes we have to sacrifice ourselves for someone who's going through a storm. And you say, well, why should I do that if I have my own storms to deal with? Do you not know that God gave you the strength that you have today? The spirit is strong, but the flesh is weak. So today I just want to remind you that when you pray for a sign and you ask God to speak to you, and he will, just like he did to me this weekend. But I pray that ultimately that you are obedient to the signs that he sends you, that the signs that he sends you are like the star in the sky to the three wise men, that they followed the star to where Jesus was born. And so today, my prayer would be that 
you be the light to someone else. That you shine bright, brighter than you ever have before. Put a smile on your face. Walk through Walmart with a smile on your face. Say hi to say hi to someone. Forgive your enemies. Forgive those who persecute you. Forgive those who who try to hurt you and hold you in bondage. Forgive those people because Jesus said, "Forgive them, for they know not what they do." And if you are a brother in Christ, it is our job as brothers and sisters in Christ to love one another. People might look at you crazy. People might think, "Why is this guy smiling?" <laughs> <laughs> it is the love, it is the joy of God that is within you. It is the Spirit who speaks. And so today, I just want to say that I love you, stay encouraged, and God bless you all. We'll end this video with a prayer. Father, I just uh, I just come to you in prayer today, and uh, most and for all, Father, I just pray and I just thank, I am just thankful beyond words of explanation of the signs that you send us, at the wonders that you've done in this world, the miracles, the many testimonies that you've written in people's hearts, Father. I pray that today, Father, that these people that have seen your signs, that have seen your wonders, that have heard your testimonies, Father, I just pray that today they be a light into this world, that they shine bright like the star in the midnight sky. I pray, Father, that today that you release these people from bondage, from captivity, from whatever the enemy is trying to do in their lives to hold them back from, from spreading the good news, Father. Just as today, Father, I just pray that these people have the willpower, Father, the urge, the fire, the desire in their hearts to continue to push forward, Father. When everything seems to be lost and hopeless, Father, I pray that they be that light in the storm, that they may guide someone through the storm, Father, and that they may be able to place them at peace in their life as well, Father. I just pray for braveness, for courage, boldness, for heroic people in this world, just like your son, Jesus Christ, Father. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. God bless you all.